Well, hi, everybody, and thank you for joining. I'm Nancy Bauman, the book professor and founder of Book Karma, and I'm excited to give you a tour of Book Karma today, where authors connect with new global audiences through shared social networks. So let's talk a little bit about book marketing. I bet you hate it, because most, auth most authors do. Whether you're a self-published author or you have a professional publisher, you bear the burden of marketing your own book. And it is a burden. Authors are writers, not marketing professionals. And most of us feel lost when it comes to pushing our own products. Social media is the primary vehicle to get the word out about your book. Yet, you can only go as far as your own network. You have to attract followers and have regular communications with them and to keep your book at the forefront. And it's really a daunting and relentless task. And even if you're disciplined about it, if you don't constantly build your network, you keep pinging the same audience over and over again. But Book Karma is the solution to that. It's a new mechanism where authors help other authors market their books globally through shared social networks. You are allowed through Book Karma to break through those boundaries of your own social networks to share networks of other participating authors. So your book is exposed to an entirely new group of readers that you could never reach on your own. So let's take a look at how it works. And we'll flip over here just for a second and let's go to Book Karma. And I'm going to, um, this is the home page. And to log in, you just click on this link right here at the top that says log in. And that takes me to a screen where I can either log in with my email address or with Facebook. And I just personally prefer to log in with Facebook because I have trouble remembering all my passwords. So I'm going to log in with Facebook. And I'm immediately delivered to my book queue where I can browse all these books on Book Karma. Now, I'm going to... Uh, you have a, a choice to be able to uh, filter what you see. So let's just take a look. We want to see all fiction, all nonfiction, all the children's books, all poetry. So I'm filtering it that way. I'm going to apply the filter. And then I'm delivered back to my book queue with those filters in mind. So um, this view gives you a thumbnail sketch of all the books that have been delivered to your queue. And it, they're delivered to your queue based on an algorithm that calculates the author's karma score, which is based on how often they share other books. The more books you share on Book Karma, the higher your karma score goes, and the more frequently your book is delivered to other authors' cues. And right here, you can see the different authors' karma scores, 36, 35, let me back up here to what our original page was, 67, 67, 61, those are karma scores. And you can see the authors who have the highest scores, their books are delivered earlier to the queue, which is an advantage because we've got, you know, hundreds of books on Book Karma. And so you would like for yours to appear closer to the front of the queue. So, um, so what happens, you can scroll through the queue and to get more information about a book, let me, you know what, I'm just going to filter this again. Let's take a look. Let's narrow this down so we don't have to, you know, look through all of our books. And let's just narrow this down to, um, are nonfiction books and um, maybe even a subcategory. How about um, self-help and um, maybe some biographies and self-help. So I'm going to apply the filter again and we'll have a view of fewer books so that we can choose ones that we would like, would like to um, actually look at to share. So as I'm, um, you know, browsing through my queue, you can click to get more information about a book. So let's just look at this. It says share now, but it's going to take me to a screen that allows me to get more information about that book. This book is called A Life in Parts. Um, you can see here it's nonfiction and the author is Vicki Bennington. So, um, you know, I can read the full description of what the author wrote. And um, since Book Karma is all about helping other authors, you will have an opportunity to rate this author's book 
based on its cover, its description, and its social messages. So I obviously have visited this book before, and I rated the cover of five and the description of five. And at one time, I rated the social messages as a two. There's a standard message that populates on Book Karma that says, take a look at what I found on Book Karma. And it's up to you to customize that. The book used to have those messages, but now I see that the author has changed the messages, and so that looks like a better social messages. So, um, um, so what you can do is you can post these. Um, you want to share the book, and it will share to your Facebook and your Twitter feed, which you've already set up when you signed up for Book Karma. Now, a lot of authors ask me, they say, I don't want this to go to my personal page. I just want it to go to my author page. And we have a mechanism for that. You can post it to your own timeline or any of these other pages. These are other author pages that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and post it to all of them. But, you know, if, I, if you only wanted to post it to one, you could certainly do that on Book Karma. So then with one click, I say, share this book. And you'll see a message pops up that says, up here, you gave karma. And now I'm back to my book queue again. So, like I said earlier, whenever you share a book, your karma score increases. As mine is up here, it's number 51. Every night, we re recalculate everyone's karma scores. And the book queues, the way that the books are displayed in the queue the following day, will change based on that author's karma score. So if you want your, your book to appear uh, earlier in the queue, then you can certainly do that. And, um, you know, you certainly want to share more often to uh, kind of climb the queue, so to speak. But let's see if that sharing really worked. Let's go to my Facebook page and uh, go to where my um, page where I can see where it's shared. Facebook looks a little slow today. And here you go. Here it is right here on my Facebook post. And it's a beautiful representation, isn't it? It's the cover of the book. It gives us a um, just the description of the book. And when your viewers click on the book, they will go to that author's book information and sales page where they've linked to wherever, wherever they sell the book. In this case, in Amazon. In many cases, it's Amazon. So that's kind of the flow. And picture your book doing this, going out to people globally who you have no connection to. And then their authors will see something like this in their feed and click on it and can go to, your, uh, to the page where they can purchase your book. So that's how it appears on, um, um, on Facebook. So let's take a look at Twitter and see how that looks. Okay, here's the Twitter post. And this is the Twitter message that that author wrote. Take a look. And it says, endorse, uh, Paul McCartney and Cindy Crawford endorses. So when I click on the link from Twitter, where does it take me? To that same page where they can see the description of your book and again, click to buy the book, in this case, at Amazon, where the author has linked it. So, how can you tell if it really works? I mean, how can you tell if people are really clicking on those posts and tweets? How can you tell if you're getting any additional traffic from Book Karma? Because that's what you want. You want constant exposure to new audiences. So, to check to see if you're, um, how often your book is being viewed, we go up to this top tab here called Campaigns. And I can see my book. This is called Storming the Tulips. And I click on, you know, there's some information here, but I'm going to go to View Details that gives me the most information and metrics. So, wow, look at this. Okay, this book, it's had 12,000 276 impressions. So what does that mean? Well, whenever your book is delivered to another author's queue, it creates, creates an impression. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the author actually viewed the book. It simply means that the book was sent to the queue. That number is the least significant. What's more significant is the number of views. In this case, 533. The views show how many times another author actually clicked on the details of that book. And like I said, this author got 533 views. Now the number of shares is 
726, and that shows how many times those authors actually shared that book to their network. Now, you'll notice that the number of shares is higher than the number of views. Well, remember how I showed you that you can have multiple Facebook pages that you post to? In this, that, and that's what happened in this case. The book was, every time it's shared to a Facebook page or a Twitter feed, it's counted as one share. So that's how this number is larger than the number of views. And now, the clickbacks. What are clickbacks? Clickbacks are when somebody, a reader, who you don't even know, remember that, clicks on the impression of your book and goes to your book information and sales page where you have that buy this book button. And in this case, it's a whopping 10,139 clickbacks. Man, that's like a gazillion percent return. That's 10,139 viewers that I could never have reached on my own. You know, gosh, how can you argue with that? We're looking for exposure, and we're looking to have our books shared and, and introduced to readers around the world, and this is something I could never accomplish on my own. Now, finally... I can see the score, how other authors scored my book, the, according to the book cover, the book description, and the social messages. And I'd say that's pretty high. Now, if you ever discover on your own page that this is three or below, you will want to tweak those things so that the rating will improve. Because, you know, sometimes, I mean, oftentimes, actually, if the author doesn't like the cover, they're not going to share it. If they don't like the description, they're not going to share it. They can always change your social messages. But who wants to do that? Um, you'll want to go in and, and tweak your social messages if you're not getting good ratings on that. So that's how Book Karma works in a nutshell. And it only costs $1.99 a month to campaign your book on Book Karma. So, you know, how could it get any easier than that? Um, you know, a lot of authors have a lot of problems knowing how to use social media to market their books and like I said once you've built a following no matter how big your own backyard is you are stuck inside it book karma allows you to break out of those boundaries to reach readers around the world that you have no relationship with you're leveraging the social media circles of other authors who are also campaigning their books. And in return, you share their books with your network. And that's how it works. It's all about giving. It's all about karma. What you give out is what you give back, always. And we've tried to make it very, very easy for you to campaign a book on Book Karma. And when you, um, you know, as soon as you have your book, um, you know, announced, you can use Book Karma, you can, um, you know what, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be just for your current books. Do you have any backlisted titles that maybe didn't do anywhere very well? Resurrect those on Book Karma. What have you got to lose? It's a two bucks a month. And we're all about helping authors connect with new audiences. So that's a quick tour of Book Karma. I hope that I will see you and your books on the platform because I'd sure like to share them with my own network. Thanks so much and have a great day.